Well, hello, if it isn't our newest student. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you, but first things first. To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and follow his instructions to talk. Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. Wizards test their skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Long, young wizard, let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! Who's there? Malister. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spill cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. You've drawn these spells from your deck. Quickly! You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastare's henchmen by clicking on him. to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. For mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy... Where were we then? Right. Attack his henchman again. Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. You've 
let the young whelp heal. Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it. Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells. Here, young wizard. Take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and cast it at one of them. Oh my, that spell reduced the power of your own spell. Last, you fools are in your keep. Now, finish the child. Cast this balance blade spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. This one learns fast, Malister. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. With the balance blade spell you've already cast, the meteor strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. Excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Oh, my. You look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations. Defeating Malister's henchmen has earned you some experience. This experience bar will help you track your progress. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? What's that? You don't know how to speak? Oh, my pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. This is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. Have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spellbook and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. I 
I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Oh, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? See you soon. Welcome to Ravenwood Academy, young wizard. <laughs> and normally, this is where you'd be enrolled and sent to your classes. But times are not normal. There's some kind of supernatural incursion in Unicorn Way that must be dealt with immediately. I wonder. You've demonstrated such potential, I think practical experience will serve you better than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? Splendid. Time is of the essence, so I'll teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the wizard city guard in charge of that area. Welcome to Unicorn Way. There are creatures here who will attack you if you get too close to them, so stick to the task at hand. Whoa, 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 young student. The street's very dangerous right now. Is there something I can help you with? Wizard, do you see the symbol above Private Connolly's head? That means he has something important to tell you. Go speak with him. What's that? You say the headmaster sent you to help us. Well then, you're just the person, or oh, wizard, I've been waiting for. This used to be a pleasant street. We've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. The guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls, then report back to me. Good luck. To battle the monsters, run up to them on the street. When you get close enough to them, they will summon a combat sigil, and you will be pulled into combat. If you want to avoid battle, you can keep safe by staying on the sidewalk. If you can drive away some of these lost souls, we'll be in your debt. Get lost somewhere safer. 
While your character is transparent, you are safe from combat, but it only lasts for a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. Congratulations! You have just earned your first badge. Each badge will give you a title that you can proudly display below your name tag. If you have multiple badges achieved, then you can choose which one to display by opening your character sheet and clicking on the one you wish to show. Not every title is as easy to gain as the one you have gotten. Good luck in the tougher challenges! We'll follow your lead and start pushing these ghostly things back. But I'm worried we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightchan, also came to help. Maybe he's learned something useful. Hey there, I'm Saren. You're new here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell-slinging skills. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Pah! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies. Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck! To access your map, you'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health and mana. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Oh! If you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So keep your reserves full. Go battle a few of the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. I'm glad I overheard you two wizards talk about those pesky skeletal pirates. They're looting the street and making such a mess. If something isn't done, we could be forced to leave the city. Please, will you help us? Olivia is offering you a side quest. Once you accept it, press Q to open your quest log. Quests marked with stars are part of the main story. Side quests are optional, but allow you to gain additional rewards. Good hunting.
to be sure, but ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> I don't have much to offer and thanks, but please take this magic ring. Maybe it'll help you in your adventures. To put on new equipment, press B to open your backpack. You'll see icons showing your hat, robes, shoes, and other items. Mousing over an item will compare its stats to what you currently have equipped. Select the best equipment available to your school. Thanks again, young wizard. Maybe I can find another helpful young wizard to help sweep up all these eye patches. Oh, wow! You made it back! I mean, uh, how'd it go? What did you learn? The pirates warned about a rattle in the darkness? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. What is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. There is a powerful, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise seraph Lady Ariel. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's also the warden of the fairies, and they keep her well informed. Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. Ah! <laughs> 
What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages. Then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. You've just collected a reagent. Reagents are used as ingredients in crafting recipes. You can find different reagents throughout the spiral, either by harvesting them, defeating monsters, or purchasing them. Reagents go in your reagent bag, which you can access by selecting the crafting tab in your spellbook, or by pressing J on your keyboard.
the terrible cloud has been lifted. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! You hear a tiny, joyful voice call your name. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. You've cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Is that... but how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic banished from this world long ago. Could it be... Rattle in the darkness? Rattle bones. In life, a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. Now fly, and may the light guide you. You've received a temporary mount that will expire after one day. You can also purchase permanent mounts from mount vendors or the crown shop. To equip a mount, press B to open your backpack. Next, click on the mount tab and double click on the mount you wish to use. Quickly, you must ride to Siren at once. Ask him if he knows of a tower ringed in bones. Go.
gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and joined a skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? Oriel thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower, ringed in both. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. dropped the tome he was holding. It could be important. Perhaps Saren will know what should be done with it. As you walk back onto Unicorn Way, you can't help but notice that the dark magic that was previously choking the street seems to have abated.
You did it, didn't you? You beat Rattlebones! The darkness plaguing Unicorn Way is lifting! Look! With Rattlebones defeated, the guards should be able to drive away the rest of the undead horde. Ooh, that tone looks important. You should take it to the library in the commons. Harold Argleston will know what to do with it. I said Private Orion down the street a while ago, and he's not back yet. With all his lost souls about, I fear the worst. Orion's a good friend of mine. Could you go see if he's all right? He may be hiding in one of the houses. See if you can find him. Get back, Undead Fiend! Oh, a student, is it? You're a brave one! Connolly sent you to check up on me? I'm well, but I did have a bit of a scare. I was making my rounds when a horrifying ghost swept out of nowhere. I recognized her from the old stories. Lady Blackhope, the Wailing Widow. I'm not ashamed to say she scared me half to death. I hightailed it here and shut the door. I can't leave this place if she's still out there. Black Oak Tower's not far away. That must be where she came from. Maybe something in there can drive her spirit away. The city guards are scared of me? Well, they should be. Everyone should be. Malister has opened the seals. The dead rise. Let all who still live beware. My dark master will be avenged. You want me to stop haunting the street? Ha! <laughs> Let's see if you have enough spirit to stop me.
enough spirit after all. Go tell the guardsmen I will haunt them no longer. Defeated Lady Blackhope? Thanks, Wizard. I'll return to my post now. Uh, as a favor, please don't tell Private Connolly what happened. I don't want him to think I'll flee from the first ghost that chases me. I only run from the really scary ones. You found Orion. I suppose some monster scared him out of his wits and he was too frightened to come back. Well, well, see, what had happened was. Well, it's not the first time. And <laughs> I wager it won't be the last. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Thanks for finding a wizard. Say, can you check up on someone for me? I usually see Dorothy out shopping by now, but I fear she's too afraid to leave home. She's just down the road a bit, and she usually keeps her lights on. She doesn't like all the lost souls roaming around. Can't say that I blame her. join me here. I'd feel better with her around. Say, I was having my friends over for dinner, but they are running late. I fear for their sake with all those ghosts roaming around. Could you check up on them? My two friends live on this street, down towards the park area. Look for a house with a light on in the window. You can't miss it. What? You say that Dorothy is looking for us? We were just about to be on our way. Oh, I told you we should have left earlier. Now we've gone and made her worry about us. I'm sorry, but I cannot find my oil can. You wouldn't want me season up on the way there. Oh dear, we always go through this. Can you return to Dorothy and tell her we'll be running late as usual? They are safe and sound? It's good to know that they are just running late. Now I won't have to worry. I always fear a wicked witch might show up and whisk them back to our castle. This land is so strange. Not like back at the farm. But I do like it here. Headmaster Ambrose is such a nice wizard. 
And my new friends are nice, too. I'd say that in all, this place is as fun as a barrel of flying monkeys. What do you say hello to Private Connolly for me? Glad to hear Dorothy is doing well. <laughs> 